What's going on guys, it's Sean from Cheese Taste Productions. Coming at you guys again with another food review. I'm here at Georgia Shrimp Company here in Peachtree City, Georgia. Um, they they specialize in a, a different variety of dishes, but they have several South African dishes. And so uh, that caught my eye. And um, uh, I got this dish with chicken and shrimp. I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll definitely post it in the video. Um, but um, I think it's called chicken and shrimp peri peri or something like that. It, 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 it's supposed to be spicy and it, it, like, and I've never had South African cuisine before, so this is the closest we're probably, I'm probably gonna get at least around here. So, anyways, let's get into it, guys. Br uh, we're gonna bust out the trusty steering wheel tray. Wash our hands as always. How's your weekend going, guys? Well, I guess it's not the weekend yet. It's Friday, but you guys have any plans? Like, like do you guys have to normally work on the weekends if you guys have off? You know, like, you know, what do you guys like to do in your free time? I mean, obviously, I'm sure in your free time, you you know, if you have your own YouTube channel, you probably use that time to uh, focus on your YouTube stuff. But uh, if you're not a YouTuber, or even if you are, what do you like to do in your free time? Comment in the comments below. I'd be interested. Let's get into the stuff, guys. It did come with uh, a side salad with their house dressing. I think it's like balsamic vinegar or something like that. And then... really good you know what though darn it they did not give me any silverware so I'm gonna have to go back unfortunately and yeah I'm gonna have to go back in there and get some silverware so hold on guys I'll be right back what's going on guys I'm back I uh, had to go in there real quick to get some silverware that, like when they had forgotten to give it to me in my bag. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah. So it came with a salad and it also, the main dish here, I can get out of the bag here, is, uh, get out that tray, is, uh, it came with rice chicken shrimp and some sort of sauce show you guys there I don't I know it's probably not the best but uh yeah so uh let's get into it guys here I'm gonna wash my hands again one more time OCD about washing the hands I guess Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys ever had South African food? I've never had it before. Um, as I had said before. Uh, yeah, I've never had it before. I'm always up to trying anything new, you know? All right, guys. Let's mix that, some of that rice in there with it. Let's get it all all mixed up here this looks delicious absolutely delicious it's almost like a, it's like a uh, almost looks like a curry sauce I don't remember the name of this exactly but I will put it in the video let's get some of that shrimp Oh man, yeah, that is good. Mmm, mm-hmm, very good. 
sauce. They say it's spicy, but it's not spicy at all. Still super flavorful. A little tangy to it. But, uh, this is still amazing, guys. Very good. So got, a, got some of that salad as well, like I said. Their house salad. Um, it came with it. Um, their balsamic vinegar dressing. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll dive into some of that as well. Let's give it a little shake here. like to get every little ounce rather if it's a dressing or a, or a sauce or whatever it may be I don't like to leave I hate leaving anything behind so let's get some of that sauce they got and this uh, fresh tomatoes as you can see very good guys tomatoes and just some lettuce here mm -hmm. Good. It came with a salad. That way I could get my veggies in today. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Can't beat a salad. Are you guys salad people? Let me know down in the comments. My favorite type of salad is a Greek salad. Mm. I tried to park in a shade. Seems like the sun's still beating through, kind of giving a glare glare here on this on this video, but I apologize for that guys. was fantastic yeah so let me know in the comments down below if you are a salad person what's your favorite type of salad Some of my followers I know personally and they are big chili heads like I think I've probably mentioned in uh, in my past videos <clears throat> um, I would not be shocked if they put hot sauce on their salad no shame in that hey everyone has their thing but I was just saying they might maybe they wouldn't mm-hmm
I know they told me that they put hot sauce on ice cream before. Not to say I've never tried it before. But there's this one hot sauce I got that has like blueberry in it. And I would be interested to try that on some ice cream. Actually, I bet it would probably be pretty decent. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to scarf up this salad real quick, then we'll move on to the main thing. Mm-hmm. Nummy. Very good guys, that was a good salad. Just the right amount, not too big. Alright guys. Now let's move on to the to the main stuff here. I think it's called, like I said before, I think it's called uh, chicken and shrimp peri peri or something like that. Or I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. But if you're watching this video and you are South African or if you're you know South African descent or whatever, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, let me know if, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, which I'm probably am. But uh, yeah, so it comes with that rice. White rice. With that sauce. Oh, get that fork out of the way. Absolutely delicious, guys. Mm hmm. Would be even good if I had like some bread. To mop up all this leftover sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Who doesn't love well? There are some people. Obviously, I love rice. Um, chicken and shrimp. Can't beat that. I mean, who doesn't love chicken and shrimp? Mm -hmm. Incredible, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's dynamite. Get some more of that shrimp. This is stuff, guys. We had a bunch of different other stuff on their menu. They had gumbo. They had, uh, they had like tacos. Um, they had some pasta dishes. So I'll definitely have to. This is my first time ever having them. I've never been to here. I've never been here. They've been around for a little while, but I've just have never been over here. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely have to come back and try some of their other dishes. It's pretty darn good. So they actually own another restaurant as well. It's called Big Shots. It's in another part of the of the area, and that's it's that one's newer. And uh, yeah, so they are like they. Uh, the owner, whoever owns this place, owns that as well. So, if you ever in, if you ever around Peachtree City, Georgia, um, you should definitely uh, come over and uh, and uh, give them a try for sure. Rather, if it's takeout or dining in, the only reason why I don't really dine is dine in at all. I just think it's kind of rude, you know. 
like if I were if I were to go to a restaurant sit down by myself order and then I pop out my 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 uh, tripod and my you know my I got my phone as my camera and all that and I, I just think it's super rude it's it's, it's just it's intervening in, in, yeah it's uh, uh, intervening in, in you know other people's space and 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 also it's just kind of like I, I just feel like it's kind of rude and it's ruining their experience dining out you know I mean I, I'm sure that they're not paying to to sit in a restaurant and then have some random guy come over and sit nearby them and then they have to listen to me ra ramble my mouth about whatever I'm eating you know so uh, that's the reason why I don't do it really I just do take out more convenient in my car got my own space pop out that that trusty steering wheel tray so that's just how I look at it but hey I, I know there are other youtubers that I that I watch that they don't care like they'll, they'll they'll go into a restaurant and shoot a video as long as it's okay with a restaurant I guess and uh, they'll shoot a video but I think that they try and go off if it's a big enough restaurant they'll try and go on the way back to where they're far away from everybody that way they're not bothering anybody you know because it's just you know it's common courtesy of everybody else <coughs> excuse me so yeah that's just how I look at it you know I mean if somebody else was doing it and I was dining out and somebody was shooting a video or doing whatever I, it wouldn't bother me I wouldn't care personally but you know everybody's different so yeah you never know some people may some people may not care some people may care so that's why I just avoid all conflict and uh I just do it in my car. I mean, some things are pretty much, you know, they're made to do in your car, like fast food. I would always do that in my car. I would never want to dine in. I, don't, I mean, even when I would eat fast food, I, would, I usually don't even dine in. If I ever get fast food, rather from shooting a video or not i always just go to the drive through and either eat it in the parking lot or just you know take it home and eat it so mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. he's dying my guy i think i'm gonna give this a solid five out of five getting a little full well, I'll save the rest for later. Um, definitely giving this a solid 5 out of 5. Like I said, I will post their Instagram page in the description below. Um, you know, I know, uh, you know, or at least some of the some of you that I do know, I know you guys don't live anywhere near here. But, uh, you know, like I said, if you ever find yourself in Georgia, around outside of, of the Atlanta area, you know, the, the south south metro atlanta area come to peachtree city georgia uh i'll even put that in the video so you guys can see how it's spelled, spelled and everything like peach like the peach the fruit you eat tree like the tree city georgia so yeah um yeah like i said if you're ever around here come come to georgia shrimp company and, and uh give them a shot and if you know, wherever you live, I mean, I know some places, you know, uh, you know, they're bigger areas and they have more to choose from. So it doesn't even have to necessarily be here. I mean, if there's a South African cuisine place around you or near you or, you know, within driving distance or whatever, go check them out. I'm sure they have this dish over there. So, mm-hmm. Very good, guys. Good job, George Shrimp Company. Can't wait to try some more of this stuff. Anyway, that'll be it for for, uh, for uh, today's food review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button as always. And I'll see you guys on my next food review. Um, hope you guys are having a great Friday. Hope you guys have a great relaxing weekend. It's supposed to be all rainy here uh, this weekend. So, supposed to be actually supposed to be some bad weather. I think coming through. I think starting tomorrow maybe. 
hopefully it's not too bad but uh anyways yeah oh yeah and happy father's day to all the fathers out there father we got father's day coming up sunday so happy father's day to all the fathers out there i wanted to go ahead and mention that um and yeah i'll catch you guys on my next food review once again this is sean from cheat states productions peace guys